Hello everybody, this is group 13's fluid dynamic presentation. In this video, we will be discussing observations that we discovered during our research on the Magnus effect acting upon a body. To introduce the Magnus effect, we will show you a relatable video of how the effect works on a basketball. We're here at the Gordon Dam, and what we're going to do is demonstrate uh, from the very top the effect of spin on a ball. So we're going to get a basketball and drop it uh, from 140 meters up. Uh, one without spin and one with spin, and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. We're just just dropping it with no spin or anything like that. And as you can see, you know, the, the ball was sort of doing that sway thing. So it wasn't going directly straight. It was pretty hard to predict where it was flying. So that was really cool. This is Brett who just threw it. I literally just dropped it with a bit of spin, like I didn't even throw it, and it just took off. Like we had no idea that was gonna do that. But yes, yeah, in the water play. Our hypothesis and explanation include the following lifted, listed on the left side of our slide. Multiple forces in different directions determine the ball's path. These forces include topspin, backspin, and sidespin. The spin on the body creates velocity differences above and below, which create different pressures around the body as well as a force that lifts the body, known as the Magnus force. To explore the Magnus effect in more detail, we will analyze both Bernoulli's principle and Magnus force mentioned previously. Because the body is at constant elevation, we can simplify Bernoulli's equation to determine the pressure as you will see in the equation below. Based off this same equation, we can see that the fluid density and the velocity are the main components of creating the pressure differences. You will see based off the image that the air flowing above and below the body cover different distances in the same amount of time. This makes the air flowing above the body move faster than the air flowing beneath the body. Thus, there is a greater pressure beneath the body than above it. As a ball spins, it deflects the airflow above it downward and creates a turbulent boundary layer on the air nearest to it. The deflection of air creates a force called the Magnus force named after the German physicist Heinrich Gustav Magnus. The Magnus force is dependent on the angular velocity of the body and the velocity of the fluid that is hitting the body. Therefore, we can say that the Magnus force is equal to the equation seen below. Ultimately, this force is what we see mainly responsible for the curvature or misdirection of the body during its flight path. Through the analysis of both pressures and forces relevant to the body and described by the equations previously mentioned, we can see that the body's flight path is indeed affected by spin velocity and fluid velocity. This is responsible for altered flight paths seen during the video demonstration and on other bodies such as plane wings and baseballs. The principles of the Magnus effect could also be Im implemented into future technologies, which include the integration of more fuel efficient transportations and energy generating systems such as ships and wind turbines. We hope that this presentation was helpful and informative and that you found the topic of the Magnus effect interesting.